Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Racha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom and in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Cast your burden upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Cast your burden upon the Lord. There is no reason at all for us to think we can do it alone. All right, when it comes to these other idol gods, we can do it without the idols. You know, we can do it without the, without the uh, crutches. Look that word up. About, do it, sorry, without the crutches that we used to lean upon in the world. However, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is our defense, is our rock, is what keeps us pushing. You know, that is what keeps us, I say, keep on keeping on. That's what makes us be able to take comfort. If you're taking comfort in the right place, if you're not, you know, you might get comfort from these worldly things, but it will not, it will not be forever. I'll say it like that. You know, the fashion of this world passeth away. It's nothing in the flesh is permanent. All this is temporary, temporal. So that's why we're told and taught to keep focused on the things above, right? Mind the things above, mind heavenly things, right? That's what's neat, that's what's convenient, and that's how we truly, quote unquote, make it. You know, Jake's obsessed with making it, making it in this world, you know, having currency, fiat currency, right? No fat, no. Uh, natural resource, nothing that holds any weight in itself, I don't mean literally, you know, but nothing that has any value of itself, i.e. gold, silver, you know, it tells you that in Haggai, it belongs to the Lord, and you know, that the Lord made that to be value elements, currency, metals, that's what true money is, but in a world like this, you know, people take comfort from their burdens in trying to chase the bag. You know, you should be trying to chase your God, right? Your power. In this case, your Hawa Bahasham, your Hawa Shai. Right? You should be trying to chase what's profitable in these times and what's profitable more so than this wisdom. And that's a rhetorical question. You know, there is none, there's nothing out there bar this wisdom. It's gonna, it's gonna get you where you're trying to be if you're trying to do what's right by this book. If you're trying to get that everlasting crown, that incorruptible crown. You know, there's only one way to do it, man. There's only one way to do it. You know, there's all these different philosophies, you know, philosophies of fools to teach you about this way and that way. And climb up some other way, be a thief, be a robber. But well, that will not profit. You know, but we can say that was surety, we say that with certainty. That certainly will not profit, you know, just as riches. Again, chasing that bag. What's it written? Riches profit not in the day of wrath. You have to balance that out. Money is a defense, you know, the scriptures speak on. Money answers all things, money answereth all things. True, you know, but in context, when it comes to judgment, when it comes to the Heavenly Father, as it's written in Haggai, I believe one and six, you know, all the gold, all the silver belongs to who? Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. You know, so we'd be a fool trying to give, you know, an offering of gold. The sacrifice we're to offer is that living sacrifice. You know, our bodies, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice doing the work of this ministry. You know, however your situation is, however it's set up, you know, you know. Right, wherever your lot is, will be revealed. You know, but not doing your job. You know, you get fired, man. And when I say fired, when I say fired, you know, there's many ways to catch fire. You don't want to have any of them. Especially in the time of coming judgment ahead. ICBMs, you know, setting the, setting the stage. It's going to be wars among nations, wars in between nations, right? Intra wars, if you like. You know, so wars of nations going against each other. 
as in against one another, wars of nations going against themselves, right? Civil wars, so you can understand. All of these things are prophesied. You know, man not caring about his neighbor, nor his brother, you know, spoiling and destroying. That's written about spoiling and destroying them that fear the Lord. So are you meant to cast all this upon, you know, busting your ass at a job to take home pennies after tax, you know, pay your, your bills, your expenses, you know, and then have two pennies <laughs> to enjoy. Now this is not our rest, this is a time for hard, hard graft, you know, primarily spiritually. You know, if you've got a family, you've got people to look after, you know, you know what you need to do, we use the world, we don't abuse the world. You know, so you're not using excessive means or means that you know, you don't have to, you're not doing too much, but you're doing what is necessary for your family. And when it comes to the MLTB, you best be of the mind, but the only way my family can make it is spiritually. You know, because that, at the same time, if you don't provide for your own, you're an infidel, right? That is scripture. However, if you provide by trying to sin, you know, trying to sin to win, well, guess what? You will get your judgment. You know, you will get your payment, which it says, the wages of sin is death. That's what's written. The wages of sin is death. And I'll often say, you know, you're clocking on your job, you work an hour or two, you get whatever your hourly rate is. Well, the wage for sin is death. It doesn't say you work an hour, you work a second, you work a decade, you work a millennium. Millennium. It doesn't say anything like that. It says the wages of sin is death. You know, so you could have done a couple, couple seconds, and if it's sin, well, if you want to be technical, you know, the wage there is death. Now, just in the same way, in an unrighteous way, the wages tarry on these jobs. You know, they're really meant to get paid daily, according to the biblical law. But these wages tend to tarry two weekly, monthly, mostly. You know, in my experience, monthly. Primarily. But the wages tarry. Well, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is merciful. You know, so to allow you also, you know, that judgment to uh, tarry for a short while perhaps you know but it doesn't it's not an excuse it's not a means to you know to take the piss as we say as we say in the, across the pond you know it's not a mean a means to say well you know what if i didn't get judged for that i might not get judged for this but it's a time of grace you know a time of getting right and again we achieve all of this by what casting our burdens upon you how about hashem you how shai Right, not casting your burden upon your wife. <laughs> not casting your burden upon your children. You know, we, there's an order to this thing, man. You know, you, whatever troubles you've got, you, you take to the Lord. Right, simple like that. Or the brothers. You know, there's like-minded brothers around you. Reach out. You know, get that uh, reality check. Because if a brother came to you with your problems, you'll probably give a you know, a straight up answer. It talks about one that's profitable to others, you know, but not to himself. Sometimes you need that uh, external perspective, you know, but keeping it within the scriptures, right? Not an outside of you as in outside the scriptures, you know, outside of oneself. We can get caught up in the flesh. You know, we are men at the end of the day. We are men. And that's the thing. We are men in this world. We are men means, you know, be strong. There's nothing that we rely on. Well, that's backwards. You know, the woman is meant to rely on us. Children meant to rely on us. However, that being said, a man is meant to rely on a Hamashayach Yahawashai. That cannot be neglected. Right? We understand our role. We understand order in terms of um, man and woman. More time, but let's not forget, a man still relies on what the Lord. Yeah? A man is still reliant. Just because it doesn't make you less of a man to rely on your God, it makes you more of a man. Right? Look at our fathers of old. These are the, the symbols. You got all this red pill, red, <laughs> red pill, red pill, right? Which are, there's truth in that. There's truth in a lot. You know, there's truth in a lot. But that some people lean on it like it's a whole new religion and doctrine. And again, you'll begin to worship man or worship yourself. Right, worship Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, cast your burden on him. That is how we become strong men.
because we're strong-minded, we're aware of what's right and what's wrong. The objective metric of truth, which is these scriptures, man. I say it like um, Zabak of, of HOI, whether you like it, understand it, accept it, believe it or not. All right, straight up, scriptures, straight scripture. Yeah? This is, this is the truth. This is the, the way. Yahweh Shai said it himself. He is the way, the truth, the life. Right? And the light. So that's how we guide ourselves. You know, not, not just ourselves, but that's how we're guided through Yahweh Bah Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's, you know, you look like a fool if you're saying, don't worry, you know, I got this by myself. I don't need the light. You know, you're walking into a fucking wall, banging your head off. You got big bruise, you come out. Oh, what happened? Well, I was in the dark. I didn't need the light, you know, because I'm a man. It's not that. It's I need a light because I'm just a man, right? I'm just flesh. Yes, we are these spirits. We're spiritual first, but we're in flesh. And bearing in mind both of those things is all the more reason to cast our burdens upon you, how by Hashem Yahusha. Right? The fact that we are spirits, so we acknowledge the Father of spirits. And then we reaffirm it by we are in flesh you know so we may be influenced whether we like it or not by the flesh and we may need to in brackets definitely do need to purge it out by what by the spirit right for our god is a consuming fire <laughs> fire cleanses man you know and there's many other literal fires you know coming upon the earth and you best not get that you know you'd rather cast your burden on the lord and be humble and meek of a man and have an ICBM cast upon your head <laughs> you know, so have some hot coals of judgment cast upon your head am I wrong? You know? don't, be, don't be weak and believe in the flesh you know, be strong and believe in the spirit rely upon the Lord Yeah, rely upon the Lord cast your burden upon Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai cast your burden upon the Lord Shalom